Yes. Yes, you better all believe that the boomers just got diabetic from eating their words about how Bubba will never win a race and how he will never amount to any of the uh, drivers that were driving the Trump 2020 sponsors or the bootlicker sponsors. Ooh, this is one glorious day to be a can conservative detractor. And I love every last nanosecond of it, and it tastes so fucking sweet. Oh boy, and you better believe that I've been hearing it all. Oh my god, it is rigged to pander to the SJWZ. <laughs> oh gosh, the rain shortened races shouldn't count. <laughs> okay, Jethro, does this mean juniors? Win, last win at Phoenix shouldn't count. What about Chase Elliott's victory at Kata? My current main man, might I add. What about my OG man, uh, Jeff Gordon, from Pocono 2007 and 2012? What about my all-time favorite racer in the history of human existence, Jimmy Johnson from the 2003 Coca-Cola 600? Is that not a legitimate win? How come I don't see you guys lighting a fuse in your tampons about Justin Haley's rained out win at Daytona. Or fucking um, Chris Busher's victory at the 2016 Pocono race, second Pocono race to be specific. No, hon. I'll wait. Oh, because you, they're, those people are pairing to SJWs, okay, but what does that have to do with the fact that NASCAR supposedly shouldn't count rained out wins? He did his job, and he crossed the finish line. Get over your fucking selves. You do not make the rules. You don't dictate how a driver wins a race. A race win is a race win. Even NASCAR legends have won it. That way, get over yourselves. And I know all you motherfucking Trump sycophants and bootlicking idiots and outright cancerous pile of rancid, orange, swollen potatoes are going to probably congregate the shit out of this video about how I'm supposedly an SJW fucking uh, snowflake because, you know, you totally whining like a child about... <laughs> about a dead horse that has been put into a wood chipper, trampled by a bulldozer. T the rest of his vital remains are tossed into a meat grinder and then had his bones to smash the shit out of by a freaking battle axe. When he never even put that noose, which was a garage pull-down handle, there in the first place. Now, if he was... Now, if he actually put that handle there and then blamed it on Matt Benedetto and called it white supremacy as an attempt to get him canceled, yeah, you guys would have a point. But this is not what we're dealing with here, ladies and gentlemen. It was a misunderstanding. So, if anything, you should blame NASCAR for, for uh, running around like decapitated chickens and inciting other people to fucking... Uh, explode on Twitter over some something that wasn't even remotely confirmed until the FBI investigated it and drew in their conclusions. Because this is just getting fucking ridiculous. I, that phony noose wasn't even put there by Bubba Wallace in the first place. So th not even the FBI could determine the veracity in that delusion. So how about you take your debilitating naysayings of Bubba Walls, your disparagement of Bubba Walls, just because he stands up for social chains, and shove it directly up your fucking ass? Because you lost. How is it? How does it feel? How does it feel that none of the drivers who drove bootlicker sponsors or Trump 2020 sponsors or any right wing Christian related sponsors? that basically that they were rendered completely worthless in comparison to Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace has a victory all of every driver in the Cup Series that has driven those pile of shit sponsors that can go rot away in the 
deep depths of Reactor 4 in Chernobyl. Yeah, you guys were never the winning party in the first place. Oh, you're good. I remember specific comments telling me that either you have fun being a loser with Bubba Wallace or have fun being a winner in living a prosperous life by voting Trump. Yeah, your precious orange, swollen, geriatric minded, brain dead, steaming hot, rancid pile of dead camel, maggot infested horseshit can go fuck himself with a rusty knife. Because he fucking lost, and Bubba didn't at Talladega. He has nothing to apologize for. Bubba Wallace had nothing to apologize for, especially when he didn't put that handle there in the fucking first place. I repeat, he did not put it there, unlike Jesse Smollett. He, it was already fucking there, and NASCAR decided to turn this into an angry mob. Bubba Wallace, if anything, is a victim of NASCAR inconsistencies, not a hate crime. So, how about you take your grudge-holding bullshit, shine it up real nice, microwave it, put a torch to it, make sure it's heated up to 1,000 1, degrees, sharpen up real nice, and shove it directly up your fucking ass. All your little desperate excuses can die in a fiery-filled gasoline ditch. Because, go on. Bring me your over, overtly butt-herded, ill-tempered horseshit all over this video. Continue to make every last ex exhausted excuse under the sun that has already been rebuttaled up the ass onto this video because you're only going to make complete and utter laughing stock of, of clowns you guys already are than you were beforehand. If you think that Bubba Wallace's win was fake, then you should not be happy, then you shouldn't be saying the same for Chris Buescher or Justin Haley. Besides, because of you guys des ever so desperately trying to negate and discredit his win, I just can't wait for him to win at least a win or two on four wheels to the green flag, much like how Eric Almarola eventually got to that. One of his victories being at New Hampshire, might I add. Same case with Joey Logano eventually winning victories under the green flag on four wheels. More than, more than dozens of times too, might I add. So yeah, how does it feel that you're Oh, so precious Trump 2020 sponsors that was shoved down the throats of drivers that did not want to fucking drive those fucking sponsors in the first place were rendered worthless in comparison to Bubba Wallace. Black Lives Matter. That sponsor, that slogan, Bubba chose to, to drive it. Bubba chose to express his fight for social change. Bubba chose to show his support for black lives in unity and respect. Corey LaJoy, on the other hand, never wanted to drive that sponsor in the first place. He felt ashamed that he had that pile of steaming hot, boiling excrement all over his fucking car. Who's the carnival penis that has this freakish audacity to say that that supposed SJW sponsors are being shoved down NASCAR's throat, but yet they're fine with Trump 2020 sponsors being shoved down the throats of drivers that did not share those beliefs in the fucking first place. Did you just see how stupid it is now? If you're so upset about politics being shoved down drivers or fans' throats, then why are you rationalizing the Trump 2020 sponsor being tacked on to Corey LaJoy? And as a matter of fact, how could Bubba be shoving the whole Black Lives Matter uh, activist activism if he chose to drive it? 
He fucking chose to drive a sponsor that fights for social activism. It was not force-fed in any capacity. And as a matter of fact, Bubba Walls hasn't even said anything about that so-called noose incident ever since it was concluded. So you guys, just stop. Stop it with the grudge holding right now. Oh, by the way, just because people are offended by what an absolute idiotic racist you are, it doesn't mean they're in the wrong. Stop acting like you're tough for being an insensitive piece of shit. Get over yourselves. I'm not even that big of a Bubba Walls fan. Even I am getting so waned of seeing all these people bring up Bubba every fucking post that has nothing to do with them in the fucking first place. For the record, Chase Elliott is my favorite driver, and for all you SJWs that are continuing to say that he's a racist Republican, explain how he even congratulated him on fucking Twitter, and never even says anything political on his fucking Twitter profile. He, I repeat, he never fucking preaches anything remotely Republican-related on his fucking Twitter. So can you stop taking a freaking... 1,000 degree boiling fucking mold, molten steel crowbar and beating the dead horse's head with it. Stop it. There's no excuse to stir up an excrement an excrement made tornado. I think I said all I could say. All I can say is that Boomer Salt would go good with the McDonald's fries. <laughs> How funny <laughs> that uh, analogy went be considering that McDonald's was Bubba Wallace's sponsor. So I may as well go to McDonald's to, well, celebrate his victory. Why not? I'll be enjoying plenty of boomer, conservative, and incel Trumplican salt all over my McDonald's fries to rub in the faces of you clans that obviously will not stop holding a grudge that was of no way, shape, or form Bubba's fault in the first place, and how you will continue to dismally in unabashedly tarnish your reputation and legacies as racists. You will continue to be in denial, but don't hate to say it, but it's gonna stick with you no matter how much you are desperate to rationalize it. So, fuck you SJWs for stirring up an excrement tornado on Chase Elliott. Fuck you incel boomers for continuing to beat a dead horse over something that has been solved long ago. Have a good October, my dudes and dudettes.